Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about lichen planus, and it's going to be represented by this kid over here who likes planes. It even says in his hat, I like planes. And you see his toy planes over here. So, I like planes for lichen planus. Anyway, he was walking through the field, and he noticed this purple polygon. And this purple polygon is going to help us remember different features of lichen planus. So, let's talk about that. So, lichen planus can be characterized by the six P's. The papules and plaques, two P's are there. Papules and plaques are purple. They're purple in color, and they're polygonal. And they're described as being planar, right? They're not bumpy. And finally, the sixth piece is that they're pruritic. They're very itchy. And you see the scratch marks on this polygon over here. Just remember the pruritus. Now, these scratch marks over here, these white marks over here, are also going to help us remember another thing. The Wickham striae. When there's mucosal involvement in lich lichen planus, it manifests as Wickham striae, which are reticular white lines, which you can see on the gross morphology. Why is there a saw over here? Well, the saw is to help us remember the sawtooth appearance that you could see on histology. This is due to the inflammation at the dermal epidermal junction, as you can see in the picture. If you'll note, we highlighted in purple his elbows, wrists, and mouth to help us remember that lichen planus often affects the mouth, the elbows, and the wrists. Finally, the etiology of lichen planus is unknown, but it has a strong association with hepatitis C. And thus we have these heap of C over here, heap of C blocks over here, heap of C for hepatitis C. In our hepatitis C video, we have a heap of C blocks. And that's going to remind us that hepatitis C is strongly associated with lichen planus. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene. Alrighty, take care.